Hey, this is Brooke Drum with PrinterBot.com. I want to show you our new printer board G2. This feature is not an 8-bit board like the old printer board, but a 32-bit ARM processor. Uh, but the real magic is what TinyG has provided. They have firmware in here that does really smooth, buttery motion control. Uh, it's really too much to go into, but you can read up about it on their wiki. Uh, but what this does is makes the bots quieter makes them much faster, potentially way faster. Uh, right now we've, we've cranked the play up to, I think it's 150 millimeters a second. It uses true acceleration and it is, it was designed for our new simple. Um, so it can even talk to our LCD touchscreen in the cloud, but that's not included if you just uh, want to upgrade your existing bot with a 32 bit board you can order this. Now, since we have a ribbon cable in the new bot, um, we just made this little daughter board. So theoretically, this would work for uh, other printers as well. If you order the developer's board, uh, we'll work with you, help you, um, point you to the right resources. You may have to compile your own firmware, but we can compile the firmware and have it ready for you if you want to swap out a play, a simple metal, or a plus from the old printer board to the new printer board G2. So check this out, I just want to show you what it looks like underneath. You might notice some other mods on that, on this, um, but let me just show you how it, how it works underneath. It does fit in the simple um, by just putting the board in, so you do need an L USB cable, uh, and that fits in real tight, but it does work with the exist, uh, we send you new power to, it has to reach a little far, further, so we'll send you a new cable there. And there may be some odds and ends I'm forgetting, but it, it fits right in there on the existing mounts. On the play, we wanted to do a little bit of trickery to use this nice USB-B plug. So we have this flexible Delrin mounting. With that flexible mount, we tilt it down a little bit so that we can get at the USB plug. This is the only bot that's really easy to do this with. Um, so we've got that mount in here. You can use the USB-B plug right on the board. So that little mount comes with it. And then all the other wires just hook up to the what we call the legacy board. Um, that little board on the, on the top there. Looks like a daughter board. So that'll work with that. And the plus I can't show you because it's all buttoned up on the bottom. Um, but it fits on the existing mounts in the plus. So the good news is if, if you just want the better motion, great. But there's a couple of things that are nice. There are two fan uh, controls. So if you have a UBIS 13S, um, you can have a fan on the front to cool that, and it will control that. And you can also run, uh, I'll show you in another video, but you can run the cooling fan. We use the blower fan on the back to have really, really healthy, healthy cooling. The other benefit is that you can also uh, choose to add the LED illumination bar that we have in our new simple, we actually mounted it onto this uh, printable fan shroud for the UBIS 13S and it's really nice. So in all of these bots, if you choose to use that LED, it hooks right up to the G2 board and you can see what's going on. So anyway, check out our new G2 printer board with the TinyG firmware and you can play with it or order it already pre-configured for the Play, the Simple, and the Plus.